In this video, we're going to show you how to apply the bend command that we used to create this um, accessible ramp on the planter so we can create a sitting edge um, that varies in height. And we're also going to be using the sweep uh, by two rail command. Uh, last time we tried the sweep with one rail command uh, to create that sitting edge. So let's click on this um, planter edge right here and just type in offset. Um, and then we can change the distance here by clicking on it, but one foot looks good, so we're just going to uh, drag the cursor towards the center of the planter and click. Um, now let's just hold the shift key down to select both uh, lines for the planter edge, and then we'll type in copy, uh, point to copy from, let's just use the origin point 000, point to copy to 000, enter. So this allows us to just copy uh, these lines in place. So you can see how there are two copies for each. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is to create a construction line. Let's type in line. And the startle line can be anywhere on this inside curve line. And then the, the other end of the line, we will just um, let you snap it to the other curve line perpendicularly. And then we also want to create a copy for this one. Let's type in copy. Um, and again, space bar, zero, 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 space bar again, zero, zero, zero. So we just copy that uh, construction line right here. So there's two copies now. Um, so the next thing we want to do, let's just zoom in a little bit and click on this um, one copy right here. You can see the gumball tool uh, right here. It's sometimes called Gizmo in other programs like SketchUp. Um, so as we zoom in, you can see how along the blue axis, there's a circular shape right here. If we click on that shape and type in 3.5 feet and enter, you can see how it just extruded a surface from that curve. And that's not necessarily what we want, so let's do Control Z and Undo. Um, so let's just click on the arrowhead, the blue arrowhead right here. So if we click on the blue arrowhead and type in 3.5, this time around, it actually moved one copy um, up here, so it's 3.5 feet tall. So now we're ready to use the bend command. We will just type in bend. Um, space bar, and the object we want to bend will be one copy of each curve line. So you hold the shift key down to select both. And then uh, we will right click, press enter, or hit the space bar to define the start of the spine. So the start of the spine can basically be anything along the inside curve line right here. Um, and then the end of the spine, we wanted to snap to the end point of that construction line we created down here. Um, and then the point to bend through will be this other end point up here for that other copy of the construction line um, that's now three and a half feet in the end. So we will just hit that line. And then now you can see how that um, second copy of the curve lines are now sort of tilted three and a half feet on one side and it's um, snapped to the ground on the other side and then um, because the sitting edge typically uh, is more comfortable if we make it about one and a half feet in width so let's just offset this um, outside curve line right here so we want to change the distance, click on distance and change it to 1.5 feet. And then we would uh, move the cursor towards the outside of the curve lines. So now we just created this um, reference line for the sitting edge. So it's going to uh, become a rail. Um, so the next thing to do is to create whatever profile you would like your sitting area to be. Um, so I'm just going to fast forward to make this video shorter. Um, so let's see. So I created uh, a sitting edge right here. What you want to do is to make sure that you join all the segments. Um, and you might want to chamfer the edge a little bit so it's not too sharp. So now we are ready to use the sweep command. 
So you can type in sweep. And this time we want to do the sweep to command. Um, so we'll be selecting the outside line that three and a half feet in the air as our first rail. And the second rail will be this um, edge that's one and a half feet away from the outside curve line on the ground. And then our cross section curve will be this one right here. Um, and let's right click, press enter or space bar. And we can ignore the sim point. Um, so just right click again, press enter or space bar and say okay. So now you can see we just created this really interesting organic sitting area that's one and a half feet here, three and a half feet tall there, but it tapers down to the ground. Um, so if we want to have a planting area, we can click on this outside edge right here um, and then just type in, well, actually the inside edge will be good too. So we can just click on the inside edge right here. Let's type in patch first. Select curve so we can just click on the inside edge of the poly surface. Um, so any edge of the poly surface can be considered a curve. So it's not completely, we need to select more to make sure that we select the whole edge. Um, and now right click or press enter or space bar and say okay. So we just created this um, really interesting um, surface that could be used as a detention pond. And if this is not what you intend to see, uh, we can try it another way. So let's just undo Control Z. Uh, what we can do is that we could select the outside curve and then just do a patch. And then say OK. So now we create a, a more regular tilted plane uh, in that case. And then you can isolate the planting area if you just click on the surface and type in split. Um, and then we can choose our inside curve line as the cutting object. So let's just select that as the cutting object and hit enter. Let's do that again, split. Object to split is the surface, right click, enter, or hit the space bar. Cutting object will be the inside curve. And let's just hit enter or right click. So now you can see how we just isolated um, a plane for the planting area. All right, I will see you in another video. Have a great day.